So guys, today I bear bad news. Today is a sad day. I went to LD the other week in the hope to find this. So this is hazelnut and cacao spread. It is beautiful. It is a really nice chocolate spread. It's not a ridiculous price either. It's not bad for the price. And it's not only is it dairy free, it's GMO free, it's gluten free, it's palm oil free. It's, it's the perfect chocolate spread. And what do I want on pancake day? I want hazelnut chocolate spread to go with my chocolate banana pancakes. What have Eldy stopped stacking? The most delicious chocolate spread that I've tried in a long time that isn't overly priced. For January, it's finished. So LDC, goodbye chocolate spread. Well, I'm gonna do one better for you today. I'm gonna to show you how to make a hazelnut chocolate spread. And do you know what I'm gonna do as well? I'm gonna make it with no refined sugar. So it's gonna be healthy, palm oil free, there's no refined sugars in there. It's the perfect chocolate spread. And the best thing is it's homemade. You're gonna make it, so that makes it even better. If it is that these kind of recipes interest you, you're looking to stay away from refined sugars, you want simple plant-based meals, do subscribe to my channel. If it is that you're already subscribed and you think to yourself, why aren't I seeing the recipes? There's new recipes here, I'm not being notified. Are you clicking that bell? That bell is what will tell you that I've got a recipe release. Let's get cracking with this chocolate spread. really simple recipes and today I'm going to show you how to make a hazelnut chocolate spread free from refined sugar. So let's go through the ingredients then. So we've got a little bit of vanilla, we have your hazelnuts which have had the skins removed, cacao powder, we have your almond milk and medjool dates. If it is that you buy hazelnuts that have already got the skins on, you can pop them in the oven on a gas mark too for around 15 minutes and it should just come away when you rub in between the towel. The almond milk, I am using my homemade milk. It's perfect for this, it's got that lovely nutty taste. If you want to know how to make almond milk, I'll link you up in the top corner and I'll also pop it in the description as well. And my dates, they've been in soak for around 15 minutes to half an hour just to make sure they're lovely and gooey. And I'm using the medjool, mainly because they've got that lovely caramelly taste and that's perfect for this recipe. Let's get started then. So we'll start first by adding our hazelnuts into the blender. And we're just going to pulse these until they become really soft. They go really moist like a hazelnut butter. Um, so it can take a couple of minutes. Okay. So that's the consistency that you're looking for. So you can see there it's gone very like buttery. Um, so that's perfect for this. That's, uh, it's taken me about two or three minutes to blend that. So just make sure that you are giving it a good blend. So when adding your dates, it's always best to do a couple at a time because it can really work your blender. This thing is brilliant. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's this side. There's a crack in the, in the jug as well, but this, it, can get through anything. I'm, I'm absolutely amazed at how good it is because it wasn't an expensive blender, um, but this works really, really well. So let's start adding these dates in. There you go, that's the dates and the hazelnuts mixed together. As you can see, it's starting to already come together into like a paste. So let's add the final ingredients. So I'm going to pop in our cacao powder first of all. And then, there we go. Let's give that a little bit of a blend to get that nice thing. milk it's totally up to you how much you use you can use how much I advise you can use a little bit more for more of a runny chocolate spread or you can use a little bit less it's totally up to you but what I'm going to do I'm going to add in half of it first 
just see what the consistency is like and then I'll add a bit more in after giving it a good blend. Now I'm going to add some more milk in there. The rest of it in there. I'm going to grab my vanilla as well. Give that a bit of a grind in there. Give that another blend. Okay, so it's chocolate spread so far. I am just going to give it a little bit longer. Just need another good blend. But you can see already how much of a chocolate spread that is looking. I just need to make sure that we get all those edges, all the bottom unstuck because as you know with these blenders it can stick under the blade so i'm going to give that a couple more minutes and then it should be done it's as simple as that hazelnut chocolate spread this is really easy to make today and it's going to last in the fridge for around a week to 10 days so it's perfect to make it now ready for your pancakes on pancake day next tuesday if it is that you want to know how to make some vegan friendly pancakes or eggless pancakes I'll link you up in the top corner also in the description of a recipe that I use they are the nicest pancakes I've ever had I've heard people tell me that they're nicer than the pancakes made of egg go over and check that out this one has been a lovely quick recipe for you today it's really really easy to do and if it is these kind of recipes are what you're into you're looking for easiness you're looking for no refined sugar, you're looking for healthy, simple plant-based recipes, do subscribe to the channel. And if it is that you subscribed, make sure you're clicking that bell as well. That way you'll get notified every time that I release a new recipe. If this is one that you've enjoyed today, do give me a like. And if you have any questions, comments, anything at all, pop that below and I will get back to you on them. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.